Um, but that will take me to Riches of the World. Um, it, it's 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 a really surprising, really surprising up tempo beat. Um, and you know, it's a really it's you know like almost like a, a mix between dancehall and, and stuff. But you can still get the message from it. Who who did a production on that? Um, producer Declare Reese Johnson. We we um. I wrote it. It's so crazy because I started writing it in my, he set up a little studio for me. I was living in Jersey and, and he lives here in Atlanta. And I, he set up, he told me the computer to buy, the microphone, the everything to buy. <laughs> and I got all this equipment and stuff, you know, a little small little studio. He set up Pro Tools in it and he was able to, you know, control my stuff from where wow. he is. So I would lay down vocals and you know, come up with beats or whatever, I'll send it to him. And I'm like, okay, do something with this. I need something hot. Come on, we gotta. So that's how Riches of the World was was written. Um, and it actually was finished in 2020. Oh. But I moved to Atlanta in 2020, right, right in the midst of the pandemic. Yeah. And um, I... We, I went in the studio because it was some vocal stuff that I couldn't get right in my little trash studio. <laughs> and uh, I went in Reese's studio and we did it over. And it was ready for 20, you know, we did, that was the end of 2020. So it was ready for 2021. And I was trying to put it out, put it out, put it out. And he wouldn't let me. Most High would not let me put that record out. So I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to deal with it. I'm going to leave it alone because he has not let me put this record out. Mm -hmm. And then Reese and I were on the outs for a minute because he got mad at me, <laughs> you know, because I'm always, you know, telling the spiritual truth. And he was mad at me. You know, I know he still loves me all the time, but he was mad at me. He wasn't talking to me. So he get, I, I'm, you know, this is not even a month ago. I'm like, you know what? Let me call my son because my son this is crazy. My, I was pregnant with my son when I was with the family stand. That was the last video that I did. And then when I did um, If This World Were Mine, my son was a freshman in college. He had just finished his first year. And he, he directed and um, produced um, if this were a mine video. So my son did this when he was, what, 19 years old. Wow. And then, um, so I called my son because he graduated this year. He did five years. Um, he, he graduated this year because he graduated as producer of film and director. And he's actually um, going to be starting a new job with HBO um, next week. And I called him and I said, can we get this record out some type of way? I got to put this record out, you know? And he was like, okay, mom. Well, okay, well, you know, Dez said he's around and that's his friend, that's a cinematographer. So I said, okay, how much I got to pay Dez, you know? And that was the whole thing. We got to come up with the money. <laughs> and, you know, I'm just talking about the song because I said, it's time for it to come out. I just feel it. Mm -hmm. Next thing I know, I get a phone call from Reese. He leaves me a message and he says, Hey man, because he's country. He <laughs> said, hey man, um, we gotta put this song out, man. I had a dream. Wow. And God was telling me in a dream that Riches of the World gotta come out right now. <laughs> I knew, I knew that he had the dream. I knew that he put it on his spirit. And he was like, We gotta put it out. We gotta put it out. And I said, I was doing it without you. <laughs> <laughs> I was putting it out without you. I don't care. I didn't care. So everything came together. Um, I got the money up to to pay the cinematographer. My son didn't want me to pay him, of course, because I'm mommy. Yeah. And course. you know, we had, you know we just had to pay for all the rest of the stuff. But you know, we got the video done for a thousand dollars altogether. Wow. You know, and that's with the traveling and the you know food and everything. Huh. So. It, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, I mean, done with, uh, I don't know if, you know, who knows about cameras for, for film. Um, we got it done with a red camera. 
because his friend that's a cinematographer, his family owns a film company. Okay. So they had, you know, they had the, the stuff. So it was the bomb. We had a good time, even you, though it was last minute. Yeah, you and I did some elements of uh, uh, skeet. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? Okay, so we were supposed to have this, this thing going where we had a, a club scene, right? Okay. We couldn't get this club scene together because my girlfriend owns the lounge and she was like, oh, y'all, we got to shut down at five. By five, because I have people coming at five. And I'm like, oh, Lord, it's at the last minute. But, you know, it was fine. We tried to figure it out. But we got these random women that worked at this place next door. They came in and was like, sure. And when I tell you, when I looked at the video, my son put them in the video. And I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> no, no, no. And I said, can you take some video material from Skeezer? Mm. And he said, yeah, ma. I said, so, because I said, if you want to see ass, <laughs> it'll be, it'll be Skeezer. You know, and I was like, and that was the old me. That okay. was my old life. Yeah, you yeah. know, I was ratchet, not ratchet, but I was a mess back then. Doing the most, doing too much. And, you know, the most high, he brought me out of that life. Mm. I did, you know, make a promise to him that if he, you know, allows me to sing again, that I will do message songs. I mean, I did, I wrote Riches of the World with Reese two years ago, well, two and a half years ago, really. And, you know, we got other music that we had started. Um, and I just told, you know, our father in heaven, I said, Father, look, if you let me sing, I'm going to do your word. I'm going to put out message songs because there's a lot going on in this world right now. It's a mess. Mm. So I was like, I'm going to put out message songs. And, you know, when I was doing Riches of the World, I was homeless. I was living with a friend of mine wow. and um, I was homeless at the time. And I was like, you know, I went through a homeless situation for seven years until I moved to Atlanta. And the most I blessed me with my own beautiful you know, place. And um, I went through, you know, I went through a lot. I went through a lot, me and my daughter, because I, I left my husband and we went, we went through a lot. But we came out on top anyway, you know, and um, we are, you know, we are, we, we, we good. We are right. We are right. Yeah. You know, she, she did get diagnosed with diabetes oh, during sure. our time when we were homeless yeah. and living, you know, with my friends. Um, and don't get me wrong. We didn't live in no places that was disgusting or not mm. good or anything. My, my friends have beautiful places, but it, when it's not your place yeah, yeah, and, yeah. you know, you got to tippy toe and you don't want nobody you know you stay to yourself and you know whatever you just it's it's a lot you know it's a lot and at one point of my of me being homeless and not having anywhere to live I stayed with in New York before I left New York I went to Jersey but I was living with Herbie Lovebug's mom I was uh -huh. renting from her I was renting a room from her and um I had like the whole upstairs, me and Herbie's niece, and and I shared the kitchen with his mom, with mommy mom. Wow. So, because we've been friends for a long time. His sister's my best friend, and you know, his mom, that's that's my other mother. That's my Haitian mother. And um, <laughs> it was a lot. It was a, it was a long journey, but Riches of the World, you know, when I started writing Riches of the World, it was... Because people don't understand that you can have all the riches and it means nothing. Mm -hmm. It means nothing. And you sell your soul to have what? To have nothing. Because one day all of that's going to be taken from you because, you know, when, when you get something, being prosperous and then wanting to be rich is two different things. Being prosperous is your blessings that come from the most high, God. Um, and not the God of this world, which is Satan, who I call the God of this world. He'll give you everything you want, all the riches, all the fame, all the everything, but it's a price. It's a price. And the singers that are getting up there now, 
And, and you know, I, I call them out and I, you know, I know people are fans of theirs, but I have to call it out. You have the, the Beyonce, the Cardi B's, the Megan Thee Stallion, and, you know, even, um, um, what's her name? The heavyset girl. Um, Lizzo. Uh, Lizzo. And I'm like, you have all of these singers and they butt ass naked, excuse my mouth, mm -hmm. butt naked, doing all kind of stuff, kissing, kissing, you know, doing all kind of stuff on stage, all kind of craziness. And then there's things right in front of our faces and we're like, okay, do, 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 no, we don't, we, we good. We love them. You know, that's, but it's tearing our children apart. It's messing up our women. You know, we got women out here now dropping it, you know, twerking everywhere. Yeah. All women twerking, you know, it, it's bad. Cause it's like, what spirit is this? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's bad. So for me to put out Riches of the World, I'm like, and to do the video the way I did it, me playing like the devil yeah. Yeah. and then me wearing the dress and representing the bride that, which is righteousness that Jesus is going to come back for. Mm -hmm. um, I knew I had to do that. I knew I had to do that. And, it's, and it was this time. I know that it, that the song was supposed to come out at this time because the Most High allowed it. He wouldn't allow it before, and then he allowed it. So I said, "Okay, it's time." And it's not even for me to be like, "Oh, you know, um, let me fix this thing. I don't want to block the thing." No, it's for me to be, you know, a star. And I, I don't want no parts of the music industry like that. You know, I love doing radio, doing radio, you know, interviews and going to sing live and all of that, but. All of that stuff with record labels and, you know, the the, the awards and the this and that. I don't have nothing to do with none of that stuff. You know, because but, that's not, it's just not of, you know, it's not of the most high to me. Because I've been in the business for a long time and it's an evil business. Hey, everyone. I want to thank you for being part of Halftime Chats. Um, this new update is really about our membership. And I'm really excited to be able to fully launch the membership page. There will be things like full interviews from day one. As soon as the interview drops, you get access to it without any ads on it. Um, there'll be some exclusive member only videos that will just be some behind the scenes stuff and some other things that we will never be broadcast. Um, for some members, you can be able to get actually two interviews because we do have, I do have a backlog of almost two or th seven or eight interviews that I don't even know when I'm going to be able to broadcast them. So you're able to get at least some of those up front and, um, and some, some, ex some just behind the scenes stuff. Cause there's a lot of stuff that goes behind the scenes that I have never been able to, to, to talk about or release, um, for anyone else, you know, the videos would still be the same, um, over, f over a week or a week and a half or two weeks, depending on how long it is. Um, so everything stays the same. The polls stay the same. The community chats, the community stuff stays the same, but I think with the membership stuff, I'm able to add a little bit more and invest a lot more time and energy in, 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 in really supporting the members. So I do hope you come on that ride with me. I appreciate the support and um, this will just help me continue to invest in taking things to the next level. Take care.